There are two ways to set up your printer. Plug and play is a system where you just simply plug in. Uh, the other method is to download a driver. Now here we're going to look first of all and see which driver is already installed. So you can go into computers and go into devices and printers and it shows you which printers are currently installed. So on this one only the school follow me printer is installed. I'm now going to plug in a printer and you can see straight away at the bottom of the screen there it's de decided that it knows there's a device and it's going to basically try and look on uh, the internet to see if it can find the right driver which is what it's doing at the moment looking through Windows Update. Provided it can do this all we need to do really is to sit back and, and let it go ahead do the installation and set itself up. You can see here now that it's basically downloading the information that it needs and it's going to be inserting that as well. So this is for a HP uh, 2420 printer. And it's telling it's ready to use. So the next thing we need to do really is to test that it's actually working. Um, easiest way to do that is you can have a look first of all and see if the printer driver has gone in, which it has here. And you'll note that now it's become the default printer. Um, right clicking on a printer will allow you to set it as the default one. Uh, we're going to test it now just by opening up something like Word. I'm just going to type a little sentence in here, maybe make it a bit bigger so we can see it, and then hit the print button and see if it actually comes out the printer. Okay, this is selecting the correct printer from the list. And my printer's whirring away as we're watching this demonstration, so I can tell you, that although you can't see it, that this has actually successfully printed. The second method of installing a printer, if plug and play doesn't work, is to actually find the printer that you're looking for and get the driver from the internet, which is what I'm going to do now for a second printer. So this time I'm looking for the um, Office Jet Pro 8000, another HP printer. And Google is usually a good source of finding where the drivers are. This is the HP website. Now I need to make sure that I get the right printer driver here and I make sure that I actually select one that will work with Windows 7 because that's what the operating system is. 32-bit version is the one we're looking for. Now depending upon the brand of your printer, some of these screens will look different to this, but the idea is exactly the same. You need to choose the correct driver. You need to download it, which is what I'm about to do now. Once it's downloaded, it needs to be um, installed. So on this occasion, I'm just going to save it onto the desktop. and I'm actually going to change the name slightly so that if I get confused later, I know what exactly I'm looking at. Okay, there, there's my driver on the desktop. This is actually an earlier version that I didn't rename, but this is the correct version. Double clicking it to start the process going. This one's actually extracting first, which means it was a zipped file to start with, which is often done to save space. And this is a USB printer that I'm using rather than a wireless printer. And usually with these types of installations you just need to read the questions carefully and usually it's a question of clicking next as you go through. Sometimes you might find that you have a CD that comes with your um, printer that maybe has the drivers on, so rather than the internet you can get the driver from the CD that you need to just put into your CD drive. Not so easy with the Acer laptops you're using because they don't have CD drives, so 
um, you either have to connect a portable CD drive player to it or you'll have to go through this process and download the printer driver that you need.